With P Nation announcing that Jessie has decided not to renew her contract with them, a lot of fans have been shocked at her decision. There has also been a lot of speculation on the reason why she decided to leave, from disagreements with Psy to her starting her own company. So let's look at the whole situation. Jessie is a known name amongst K-pop fans. They either know her as the rapper behind hits like Zoom and Nunu Nana, or that hilarious idol that interviews, but she's above all an incredible performer and someone who keeps breaking the boundaries in K-pop. Jessie was actually born in New York City and grew up in New Jersey, which might explain why she's more outgoing and open than most Korean celebrities. In 2003, she ended up coming back to Korea and got her first taste of performing when she participated in the talent show Doremi Media when she was only 15. She debuted two years later with the single Get Up. It's been 17 years since she first stepped into the scene, and Jessie's road to success was filled with passion and determination, but also hardship. From the very beginning, Jessie stayed loyal to her rebellious and free spirit, but unfortunately, it wasn't appreciated as much as it should have been. Jessie's personality and music, which was mostly influenced by the West, didn't do too well with the Korean audiences. Knowing that her usual shtick wasn't working, she took a hiatus to practice and then returned to the industry four years later. The results were unfavorable. Thankfully, Jessie is a strong person who isn't brought down by failures. She joined the hip-hop trio called Lucky J, along with male rappers Jaekyun and Jae Yo, Jessie completely transformed her image from youthful to seductive. But her hard work ended up paying off as Can You Hear Me? Lucky J's 2014 single gained a lot of popularity. Jessie started gaining the attention of netizens who were fascinated with her personality. Then Jessie participated in the Mnet show Unpretty Rap Star, which is a show that gave female rappers a chance to show their talents to the viewers. This marked Jessie's first experience with rapping and it got her immensely interested in the genre. Jessie became one of the most popular contestants in the show and gained a lot of fans and popularity with her tracks. Jessie's contract with her previous agency, YMC Entertainment, ended in 2018, and the following year, she signed with size entertainment agency, P Nation, and was the first ever artist to sign under the company. Jessie's maturity and confidence only grew as time went on. In 2020, she hit stardom with her hit song, Nunu Nana, which topped charts everywhere and brought her fame to an entirely new level. Her other song, Zoom, also blew up all over social media, especially TikTok. The song had a lot of impact internationally, as it has been listened to and promoted by people who aren't even fans of K-pop or haven't heard of Jessie at all. But Jessie signed a contract for only three years, and with all the success she found under P Nation, fans were sure that she was going to end up resigning after all. I mean, her relationship with the CEO and the other artists under the company was great, and she was releasing hit after hit, and her songs had never been more successful. So imagine everyone shocked when P Nation came out with the statement that Jessie would be parting ways with the company after three years. So what's the real reason behind her departure? Ever since Jessie signed with P Nation and the company started signing even more artists like Hyanna, Don, and Hayes, people thought that the agency and Jessie really suited each other. P Nation made a name in the industry for giving a lot of creative freedom to their artists when it comes to their releases, and considering Jessie's rebellious image, P Nation seemed to be the best company for her. The truth is a bit different though. Even though Sai and Jessie have shown time and time again that they have a great relationship with each other, the two have also been very open about the creative differences they've had over the years. Jessie had made a guest appearance on SBS's entertainment program My Little Old Boy back in September of 2020. She said, Sai is a genius, but he is too neat and a perfectionist. She added that the creative process behind her music makes her go crazy and said, I draw out the conclusions neatly, but the process is crazy. It is very hard. It drives me crazy sometimes. She added, we know each other now, so we don't get into each other's business that much. He's laid off me since Nunu Nana. Jessie appeared on the show once again in March of 2021, where she was asked whether Sai was still making people go crazy. She responded, I am still going crazy. Actually, no matter how much Sai and I fight, I lose. We fight a lot, but we are both honest and there is no end to it. But now that I'm older, it is hard to fight. We are still arguing. Sai confirmed that he and Jessie fought a lot and said that it had become a topic of discussion among the other artists in the company. But then he said that Jesse is not the only artist he fights with, he also argues a lot with Hyanna. In the end, he concluded, I was praised as a singer for nearly 20 years, but then I became someone who helps others and a friend was praised with my help. Jesse had also been very open about how she wanted to promote other songs than the ones that eventually got pushed as singles. There was also an instance where Jesse complained that Sai overall tried to control her too much. She said, he doesn't scold me much, but he tries to control me as of lately. Recently, he said, Jesse, let's try to not 
dress in such revealing clothing. But you know how when someone tells you not to do something, you want to do it more? I took off even more. Jessie had spoken up about working with Sai several times, and even though she ended up liking the final product, it was obvious that she didn't like how much the CEO was involved in the process of releasing her songs. For example, on an SBS radio program, Jessie talked about how her song What Type of X was originally meant for the refund sisters, but ended up going to her, even though Jessie didn't feel like the song suited her vibe at all. She said, Sai always listens to songs and gets tired of them easily, but even after two months, he was still insistent on this song. I didn't think that was like him. But Sai was so sure that when people listened to this song, they would be able to see a different side of me with this song. So I trusted his instincts. But personally, this song felt unfamiliar to me. Jesse continued, He is the producer and the president, but his mind works like an artist more. I don't like it when other people touch up my work, but he is the type to touch up things nonstop. When it came to her releases, Jessie was always rushed to produce her singles and got little to no promotion. The promotion of her comebacks was done only in the variety shows she was a part of, like Showderview and The Sixth Sense. Another point that I feel like people don't talk about is that she's the only artist under P Nation that hasn't released a physical album or even an album whatsoever, which is pretty crazy if you think about it. So when people saw that she was leaving the company, there were lots of rumors that Jessie had fought so much with Psy that she left P Nation altogether. Her statement after she left the company made things all the more suspicious. After P Nation's statement, Jessie also spoke out on her departure in an Instagram post and wrote, I understand people can make assumptions right now based on my current situation, but the truth shall reveal itself in a matter of time. Jessie also clarified that she wasn't retiring just yet, but that she was taking a break after working nonstop for so many years. She ended the statement by saying that her and P Nation parted ways on the best of terms, but there was still skepticism. The first sentence made it seem like there is a darker truth that Jessie is expected to reveal very soon regarding her relationship between her and Sai and the rest of the company. Another theory says that Jessie is going to launch her own entertainment agency. Just like Jay Puck, Jessie has her own unique sound and isn't one who wants to be controlled by anyone else. So it makes sense that she would want to start her own agency and give a platform to artists like her who want to follow in her footsteps. There's also rumors that she's joining another company, more specifically Antenna. The rumor started on June 3rd, where guest Lee Sung Yup was asked about the speculations that she's joining Antenna. Then Lee Mi Soo joked that she'd help both Lee Sung Yup and Jesse join the company. At that point, Jesse's contract was supposed to end in two weeks. Jesse answered, It's not a bad idea. They have singing, rap, concerts, acting. I'm going to go to Antenna. Well, if she thinks that she's going to be happier with Antenna, then I hope she really ends up joining. But she had also mentioned that she wants to start a family, so maybe she'll focus on her personal life during the break. Whatever she decides, let's support her and wish her nothing but the best in her future ventures. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think there's a darker truth behind her leaving the agency? Share your opinions in the comments. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!